Hey guys, what's up? Wes Snyder here. From the roof of my shop. Ah. Way up there, huh? See? Today we got another kinetic video. I got the clutch in the mail for that uh, blue kinetic. So, uh, we're gonna see what it takes to put a clutch on one of these things. Maybe, uh, Show you a little bit of anatomy of a clutch for Kinetic. Kinetic's a Piaggio engine, kind of a clone made in India. So Piaggio stuff works too. So let's get into it. Alright guys, well, if you watched uh, my last video, you've seen my clutch uh, failed on me, and here's again that uh, failure point. You know, I thought I were getting some of that aluminum, I don't know, brazing rod stuff or alumaloy, whatever, I don't know, but... I couldn't fix it so and uh, I was looking at this thing and I think this uh, this spring see how like if you look at this spring it's like uh, straight but this one it's almost as if they this one broke and they uh, redid it I think that might have been why why it failed kind of compare them I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I went online. It's a company uh, called um, Moped Division. There's my PO box there, whatever. And this is uh, the price. It was twenty-eight dollars. Six dollars and forty-six cents shipping. You know, like thirty-five bucks total, roughly. Cheaper than a go-kart clutch, and this, this is what I got. It's a Vespa clutch, racing clutch. So let's um, let's get this out of the package. Okay. One more spring here. So, <clears throat> the same thing. It says racing clutch, but I don't know what that entails. Hopefully, it'll last. Uh, this thing, uh, what is it? It's a. I said 1998, but it's a 97. So that's. Uh, 27 years old, something like that. Let's see if this one will last 27 years. So, some assembly required. Let's put these in here. Oh, fidgety. So let's um, move over here to the bike, and I'll uh, take the side cover off, and, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, that's my tripod weight. And we'll uh, take the clutch off. We'll take a look at it. It's kind of a weird clutch. It has two clutches in one. Start clutch, and then the drive clutch, so. Okay, these little plastic... Um, 
Quarter turn fasteners gotta go. I think this is the clutch side. Yes, it is. I uh, kind of just put it together so I wouldn't lose nothing. See, the start clutch works. So, yeah, you turn it and it once it uh, gets enough speed, it grabs. Yeah. So, we'll look at that. It's a. Uh, can you see what we're doing here? Whoa, whoa. Let's get a little closer. It's a 17 millimeter. They say you can uh, put a screwdriver uh, in here, you know, and get get a grip on it. But I'll let's use one of these impact drills. Works good. Now this thing's definitely been somebody's been in here before before me. I don't know. Uh, if anything's been modified, it's kind of st stiff. Let's see if I can get this off without doing any any damage. Try to get the belt off. Ow! Okay, you can't see what I did. I took the belt off the back. I don't think this is supposed to be stuck. Let me uh, <clears throat> struggle with this and I'll figure out. I'll be right back. There we go. So in here, I don't know if you can see, there's a start clutch. These are actually a lot cheaper than, uh, there we go, get it right in my hand here. These are a lot cheaper than um, the drive clutch. Got a snap ring. All this comes out with a snap ring. A little bit of wear. You can even see what I'm doing here? No. But as you spin this one, these come out. They spring out. I don't know if there's even springs on them. I think they're just weighted. And that's what, a uh, little bushing. That's what starts it when you pedal the thing. There's a uh, little washer here. I watched a guy who was rebuilding uh, Piaggio engines, which is what this is a clone of. And uh, when I took this apart originally, this was has a little lip it was facing towards the block of the engine but I'm not sure if that's correct maybe it's not I think he said this way so that's what he said and he uh, that guy I'll see if I, I'll put a link in the description to his channel way more knowledgeable about uh, go-kart clutches than I am or go-kart clutches uh, mopeds and you know all things moped he's uh some of his most recent videos is um, him uh, racing mopeds somewhere over there in Europe oh seemed like a pretty smart guy I'll take his word for it why is it so stiff I don't know This is my first uh, moped. Well, actually, when I was a kid, we had a Honda Spree, but I think it ran for a day. Okay, now the way these work is these little bicycle links go onto these little pins. They look like bike links. I think that's what he called them, too. And it just slides over like that. The ball bearings go out. They're supposed to ride on this little thing, I suppose. And um, I think that's it. Where's the 
lock washer, Wes. There was one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what the lock... I'm not sure if the, the guy didn't... He said there was no washer there on his. And his was an actual Piaggio, so... We'll just... Uh, Everything seems good. Let me put the belt back on the back. And um, these aren't on there with a lot of tension. This is a Hilton brand. I want to see if there's a part number on this in case you're looking for a belt. Can you see that? Y656037. Hilton, made in Denmark. Pretty cool. Well, let me uh, put this belt back on. I think I can use the tire. Oh, that way. Boom. There we go. The uh, oh, found the lock washer. Let's do that real quick. Just in case, it should be there. It was there when I took it apart originally. Okay, now let's, uh, I'm going to start it. I'm going to leave you right there. We'll see if uh, last time uh, the tire wouldn't let go while it was running. It just kept spinning. And I hit the brakes and it killed the engine, so... Let's give this a try. Click it to run. There we go. making a bunch of noise. Maybe I need to lube it up. Shut that off. I'm in indoors here. I'm going to kill myself. All right, well, uh, let me put a little bit of lube on it. I'll put it back together, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll wrap this one up. Alright guys, it's working great. Seems to make less noise as I ride it. Yeah, so um woo, look at go, see? Got a little country road here. It's a cold day today. Fall is upon us, or autumn, whatever you call it. Well you know I uh, I got almost 200 subscribers. It's fantastic, you know I seem like just I don't know just it's amazing to me you know like you guys keep watching this stuff you know and I met a really cool guy the other day Jason I uh, bought a uh, like a Yamaha chappy moped off him it's something that's been sitting in the woods forever oh I can't hit the horn no horn. <laughs> yeah so I just want to thank all you guys for watching my 
corny videos, you know, with crappy production value, and you know, it's great. So I'll, I, I guess I'm gonna be hitting 200 subscribers soon, and uh, I want you guys to give me some ideas. You know, I got a couple ideas. My wife and my kids have been talking about doing, but uh, let's, uh, let's see what you guys got to say. All right. You guys take it easy. I'm gonna go bebop my little moped around my little town. Ooh, let's go down the trail here. too cold for a moped ride. There we go. Sorry to get it blown out. We're in the sun. Oh, I can't see a thing. I'm pointing down at the trail. Trees! Bushes! Leaves! 